Well, it's officially spring, and it's beautiful out. After a bad Monday, I just stayed in all day Tuesday. I went out there today and found all the trails. They're all opened up. It's, it's beautiful. I make a right at the bridge instead of going across it. See those trails I was using before were all up and down next to the golf course. No view. But this other one, it had a beautiful canopy of trees. Went right alongside the river, like within five, ten feet. And I go back the other way and find that huge Dawson Park. Goes right alongside the river. You see the, the side of the river valley all eroded away, leaving, um, not hoodoos, but I don't know what those formations are. I didn't bring my phone with me. I, I almost got lost. There was a trail leading into what I thought was back into the city, but it's just another valley. Although there was a dead tree that was essentially just covered in mushrooms. A lot of, not very many people out. Like, I was pretty much on my own for most of it. This is what I was waiting for. This is what would have made a difference a long time ago. It's amazing what a change of environment, what options can do. It's a little better than by the lake park here. It's a little better than Wetaskiwin, that's for damn sure. There's no way I would have bounced back this quick. I mean, the stuff I've said to my mother, she's heard it before. She's not all there, I know. I'm going to regret all of this, even with my father to some extent, but that's on him too. I, I, I thought about when I was younger and he, him and I would just go to a park and he'd pull out the Coleman stove and we'd actually have a little... And this was just for an evening visit. He went through a lot of trouble and I couldn't enjoy myself because I, I wasn't stupid. I was a kid I knew. These weren't very good circumstances. He didn't have any anybody else in his life. And when I'd visit him, it would be all structure. It would be his routine. I hated it because when I would get back home, it was my mother and sister's free-for-all that they still deny was as bad as I say it is, but really they're just trying to save face because they want me to move on, but yet nothing's really changed. I'm glad that my mother found somebody and that I don't have to regret when she was living with my sister or about to go live in an old folks home, I would have taken that hard, but I wanted, wanted them to have a life. I know they're happy and now I can just leave them alone. I should have done that a year ago. That shit psychologist. I tried to explain to him, you're not helping. I don't need somebody to listen. I need you to verify that she's screwing with me, but he instead did the same thing. He teamed up with her because he just assumed she was all there. The, the contradictions, the way she just changed her, her mind day to day. I have to take responsibility, and so I should have done that a year ago by just never... by not talking to her. I thought there was a mental health treatment, otherwise why would you fill me full of labels? I mean... What kind of parent does that to a kid, throws him into a bottomless pit, and then says, oh no, you need help, we'll get you help, but there's no such thing. It's, it's a big scam. It's exactly what I said it was, and that's why it's hard for them to understand or accept, because that's the only way they've gotten by in life, is those tactics, those psychological tactics. The labels I could apply to them. What kind of family fucks with their own family like that? My father got a shit deal, I know. But I'm not going to be worried that either of them are coming to this channel. I'm going to say exactly how I feel. They were shitheads. They were petty garbage. There. Would it have been so hard for a mental health professional to help me with that? Apparently. See, that's their whole s scheme. And nobody really gives a shit because they're looking out for themselves.